guys, welcome back to Bright Night Tech. My name is Bruno and today we are working on my 3D printed Wolverine claws. This was a really quick project, so let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. All right, so I got this file from Thingiverse from user Ninja Grips. His is actually a remixed version of the original file created by Angry Tiki. Um, the difference is that uh, Ninja Grips did it as a whole piece, the claws, and uh, Angry Tiki did them in separate pieces so they could fit in smaller printers. But because I got my big old Elegoo 3 Max, uh, as you can see, I can just print them all out in one go, just like this. There's a little bit of stringing, uh, totally fine, didn't really mess with anything. Um, so I glued these together because I wanted to test out what it was going to look like. Um, but since I super glued them, I couldn't uh, take them apart without breaking them. So now they're that way, and now I have to work around that, which is really dumb. Uh, don't do that. Uh, do them separately, and uh, just just uh, just know that it's going to work. All right, I'm going to start with my wood filler here. So normally I sand the print first and then do wood filler but because of the size uh, of this since it's so small and it's already kind of a flat piece I'm just gonna move straight into the wood filler part we're gonna put it all over the claws just like this and now we're gonna let them dry overnight and then we're gonna get to some sanding after that all right these have been drying overnight they are good and cured so now we're gonna go ahead and start with our sanding now it's going to take a while just do your best you're going to do a couple rounds of this so that's all right all right so after this we're going to go ahead and uh by the way i broke this and again this is why you don't glue them beforehand i just had no choice so i'm going to have to fix that later but as you can see it's looking pretty smooth now we're going to hit it with some rust-oleum filler primer sandable filler primer and uh, we're gonna let that dry. So I let that dry a little bit, I flipped it, flipped it over and then did the other side, and now we're gonna let it cure overnight. All right, these are ready to go. So now, guess what? More sanding. We're gonna do this uh, until we get it super smooth, then we're gonna do more wood filler, and then we are gonna do more filler primer, sand it again. Uh, I'm gonna skip showing you that part because you already know what it's gonna look like. So. Here it is after the first round, we're going to do a couple more rounds and then we are going to move on to the silver. So here it is. I just used some regular silver uh, metallic paint from Rust-Oleum and uh, we're going to do a few coats of that just like this and it looks beautiful. We're going to glue these together and let's get to some glamour shots. And there you have it. I think they came out pretty decent. If you look really closely at them, you'll notice a lot of flaws, but at this point, I'm totally okay with it. At some point, I do want to do the DO3D uh, Deadpool and Wolverine movie version of the claws, uh, but for now, I'm really happy with these, and I think they look pretty cool. Uh, but let me know if you guys have made this file yourselves, and Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and put in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications. And we will see you next time.